Now, Sha has made a lot of changes on their website and many people are finding it hard to create a Sha account. In this video, I'll be showing you the updated version of how you can be able to create a Sha account. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing is to search for this website and then come and click on register and I'll just click on proceed. Here, uh, you'll choose uh, the national ID because we have the national ID. And here, we are going to put the ID number for the person. So you'll be putting here your ID number and then you'll put here your first name and you'll need a phone number. Uh, so I'm going to put here the phone number just like um, that and then click on proceed just give it a moment okay now an otp will be sent to your phone all you need to do is to put here the otp and then click on proceed okay here we need to set a four digit pin so we're going to do that pretty quick and we're going to confirm the pin and then click proceed Okay, just a moment. All right, your PIN has been successfully created. So I want you to click on proceed. And then I want you to come and scroll down. You can read this, but scroll down and click on confirm. And here we need to choose your employment status. And then you'll also choose your marital status and click next. So here we need to fill in some information like the postal address, the zip code, and if you have an email address again, you'll put it there. But I'll skip that and then put the residential address, which basically is the village. Then I'll put here the county, uh -huh, just select like that, then the sub-county, and uh, after that you put here the ward. We'll select the ward. After that, it's going to show you a few health centers that are close to you. So I want you to move down and then click on next. And here we need just to confirm the information and then click submit. We need to put the pin that we set. So I'll put in the pin for me to be able to verify. This step was not in the old version. So they have updated this uh, very system. So it will load and voila, we've been able to create an account. Then if you know how to do means testing, you will skip this portion. But for those who do not know, we are going to go through the means testing pretty quick. I did it in the previous uh, video. And so you can check over there or you can just stay and watch how to do means testing. And here means testing is helping share uh, to know how much you can be able to pay. They ask you a few questions and from these questions, they will now put you in a category maybe of paying 450 or 500 or 650, etc. And something I also noticed, which, okay, it's a guess from my side, is that um, Sha are working uh, with M-Pesa. And therefore, when you put your ID number, they scan your MPESA statement and that sometimes determines how much you will pay. So they do not only look at how you answer these questions because I think they realized many people are putting low standard lifestyles. And therefore, when they do that, they get low ratings of 200 of 250 but when you look at the system, they have updated almost everything. The least you can pay is 450. So they use your MPESA statement from my own imagination. If you have another view, just drop me a comment and let me know how you think about this. Because sometimes you put the lowest, but at the end of the day, you still get your given 650, 850, and so on and so forth. So uh -huh, we are almost uh, through with the means testing. So we are just answering these questions so that we can help the website to know how much we will be able to pay. And uh, okay, so here, how many acres of land do you have? So you'll put in the acres 
and what type of font do you use you'll put there the type of font that you use and you scroll down on average how much do you use as airtime uh, per month you put there and also how much you transact then click next here you'll just go through what you've filled if you need to change you'll go back and change it before you declare and submit in this case i think we are good so all you need to do is to declare this and then submit and once you submit you cannot go back so when you submit just know whatever you'll be given to pay that is what you're going to pay and i have seen some people i posted this on my tiktok by the way if you have not followed me on tiktok please do so um just search aero productions on tiktok and you'll find my profile now i posted there some videos and some people are saying they have a way of walking around and uh, re-editing your submission appealing your submission if you are given 850 they bring it down to 350 or 450 i don't know how true that is and if you are there and you can be able to do this can you make a video and also teach us how to do that but at the moment what i know is that you cannot be able to edit your submission when you are given 650 that is what you're going to pay some people are asking how will i deactivate my account i don't have the correct answer for that i advise you not to pay for your contributions that is the only way you can deactivate it i don't know how to delete i don't know if you go in a huduma center if you'll be helped to delete the account so for those of you who are claiming to know that please you can let us know uh, down in the comments below and if it is possible please teach us i hope that this video helped you and if that is the case you already know what to do book that like button so that this video can be forwarded to more people who are searching about this topic if you found value in this video please consider subscribing with the notifications on so that you do not miss any video that you post on this channel otherwise click i think it's this side of the screen to watch our next video and i'm pretty sure that i'll see you in that video Peace.